Students at the South Dakota School of Mines have the opportunity to combine science and art to practice glass blowing techniques. Kellel and Sydney Thorson takes us behind the scenes in the new glass blowing lab. It wouldn't be a ribbon cutting ceremony for a glass blowing lab without a glass ribbon. <laughs> Students like Jenna Saylor are excited for the opportunity to study the technique. It's just been a really good learning opportunity, seeing what we're learning in person and actually getting to have something like, I made this. Because the glass is about 2200 degrees, students have to work with these five foot rods to be able to shape and design the glass. Professor Katrina Donovan says by learning glass blowing techniques in a science and engineering program, it will benefit students' education. There's transferable skills here. That's the cool thing, being able to be confident around high temp stuff. A lot of our students work in high temp facilities that make, you know, I beams for buildings, structural things. So being able to be near something that's hot and being confident uh, is really important. I think it's just amazing that you start off with this glob of molten material and then you're able to create it into something that becomes so fragile and so solid overnight um, with the possibilities of always breaking the whole way through. Students will be able to make anything from cups and bowls to ornaments and paperweights, but most importantly, they will get hands-on experience combining science and art. I'm really thankful for all the opportunities that professors give us. I wouldn't be able to do any of this without their support and their uh, ability to get funding for stuff like this. So. In Rapid City, Sydney Thorson, Kelloland News. This fall, the School of Mines is planning to open up the glass blowing lab to the public for people who want to learn about the craft.